Solve for Studios doing another tutorial on S Xcode Basics. They'll be doing even a very, very, very basic tutorial. It should go by very fast, and this is something that you should learn. This is something that if you cannot learn, um, software programming is probably not a choice for you. This is basic mathematical operations. Today we'll be showing you how to do basic mathematical operations, declare variables, declare what the variable is, formulas, and display it inside an interface file or a GUI, nib, or anything like that. So first we're going to do start a new project, obviously. And you're going to create a new class. And you need at least one interface file, XIB or nib. And we're going to open H. And since we're going to display this in a text field, we're going to actually have to declare the outlet. So that works like this. IP Outlet And you can just play with up this and it's, it's a text field, so And it's text field Star Text Field and you're gonna end it there. That's it. And I gotta declare the action which is the button that will be actually doing the mathematical operation. So dash Action 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 I typed action There Seed I'm, I'm using seed you can name it whatever you want but I'm just naming seed because you're actually seeding something into it I don't know it just came to my mind to write seed Sender and that's it I'm just going to copy this so we don't have to rewrite it after. M. Okay, so now that we declared the action and now we now we'll have to declare what the action will do. I'm going to get that out. Okay, so now we'll declare what the action will do. Init. And since we're doing basic math, we got to declare integers and floats. What integer declares is into any number that is an integer. So basically, from zero to any number, zero to zero and above, and zero and below. So negative zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So any number without a decimal, basically. And a float would be any number with a decimal, and both and above zero, not below zero. If it's below zero, you cannot declare it as a float. So, we'll just name random, random variables as integers. As you can notice here, all the the, the variables are separated by a comma, and I'm not declaring the actual integer here because it becomes messy and later debug after. Obviously, there are faster ways to do what than what I'm going to teach you today, but this is the easiest way to actually learn it. The faster ways you will not understand. So here we're just gonna declare a bunch of variables here. So we'll do x and a, and we'll declare some floats that just represent what float can do, y and z. And now here we can actually declare what the variables will, are. So we'll say x. Oh, we should end them here first. X equals say one. Y equals one point five Z equals one point five and we'll use A as a formula. So A here will be our formula. We should also end all these. One thing that you should always do remember is always end every line, otherwise it will not parse it and be and build the project skew. So if you're not going to continue over two lines, remember to always end those two lines. Maybe one line. I don't know, it's not important right now. So here we're going to do a formula. So we'll just do a basic, simple um, subtraction formula. So we say x minus y minus z. 
And so it's the A is declared as the integers of the final result should be an integer. So we'll just change. Yeah, we'll change Z to just one. And here we gotta declare what will happen after the result has been created, otherwise it won't exactly display what you want to display. So you have to actually say you want it to go to the text field even though you've already declared the output. So this will what this will do is actually just once you click the button, it display the value of A. So now that we've done the main code around it, we're going to show you how to actually display it inside an interface. So you can go to your main interface file. And you can get an NS object. You can get your object here. And there. And you're going to declare a class. What is the class? We named it my class. And let's find the video. Ooh, this is the wrong one. There. We'll just let it load, 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 load. That's wrong. Okay, we'll just do it from here. So we're here we already have the button and the label ready. So all we have to do is now actually insert. There's not anything wrong with Xcode 4. Everything's built into the application. It's not exactly that great. Some people prefer it. Prefer it. I really don't prefer it. I'm gonna put the object in. My class. And now that we have, I've already put the main ready for you to do so. All we have to do is now just click on this. Go to connections. We're going to drag C to the button, obviously, because that is the action. And we're going to do text field to the text field, because we named this text field and its outlet. And you're done. If you build, building, 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 building. It will now build math. Remember, all the source code is on our Google source, Google code page, or link in the description. Okay, for some reason this is not building. Oh, now it is. Alright, I click run. Oh, that's my fault. I'm waiting. Wait, there. Where is the application? Where is the application? You know what I think? I think this um, recorder that I'm using is incompatible with Xcode. So I'm just going to run a pre-created one that I created before. Go. Loading, 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 loading. It's probably very inconvenient. This is very inconvenient. Very inconvenient. There it is. Load text button. Yeah, our answer was negative one. So that's how it works. That's how it should work. Here's another one. Now I'm loading this. The other one that did not load before. Calculate. As your answer. As you can notice, this is the one that goes to this one. This has a one thousand point five as your answer, and this is the one that we just created. This is the negative one one. So this is our answer. And you can see A was supposed to be an integer, so it is an integer. So it may be 0.5 if you have if you actually put A as a decimal value, it will round it to the nearest integer. So this has been basic mathematical operations. Hope this taught you something besides the uh, very long wait for building. Sorry for that. on the next video I'll try to find some different recorder. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Bye.